Let's see how to install StreamSets Data Collector for Azure. I'm in the Azure Marketplace. I just search for StreamSets. The offering I want is StreamSets Data Collector for Azure. Now I just need to click on Get It Now. Yes, I want to continue. You might have to uh, enter some uh, data at that point. But I go into the Azure portal and I can say, yes, please create me a virtual machine with StreamSets Data Collector. Now, one thing I have to do is specify a resource group. So here's one I created earlier and a virtual machine name. So I'll just call this Pat uh, Demo one Now, uh, I just need to set uh, authentication just for simplicity here I'm going to go with username and password and I'm going to choose STC user and here's my password and I'll note here that all of what I'm doing here is documented in the data collector documentation and it does mention to uh, use a username such as uh, STC user rather than uh, SDC because that's used internally. Now, one more thing to check. We do recommend you um, verify that you're using managed disks. I could go in and uh, play with the networking management and so on, but that's all I really need to do to uh, start my VM. So Azure does some validation and then uh, I should be able to create it. Okay. So it's initializing the deployment and it's going to take about uh, two or three minutes to actually go through this process. So we'll come back then. Okay, my deployment is complete. So I can uh, get the details and um, go and log in. So I just click into the virtual machine and what I'm looking for is the public IP address. Now this is where I'll be able to log in to uh, StreamSets Data Collector. So I can copy that. Let's get a new tab here. And again, this is documented in the uh, install guide. So I can say HTTP and I need port number 18630. That's the default port for Data Collector. Now this is likely to happen maybe the first time you go. Uh, once the virtual machine started up, it does take maybe another minute or so for the service to be available. So uh, just come back every minute or so and refresh the page. And here we are. We can log in using the default username and password and we can get to work on maybe creating our first Azure pipeline. I can maybe uh, start reading some data from Azure Data Lake. We're ready to go.